Hey guys, welcome to another acrylic pour painting video. Today I will be doing another marble themed painting. Enjoy! The first step is to take your bottle of Flood Floetrol and just pour a little bit in each cup, um, just enough to give something to mix your color with. You don't want to pour all of your Floetrol in right away and then put your paint in because it won't mix as smoothly and you might have little chunks of paint floating around and you won't get that nice smooth color. So the colors I'll be using are Titanium White, Mars Black, Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, and Permanent Rose. Just take a little bit of your paint and put it in with your Floetrol and then mix it really good. You want to make sure you get all the lumps out of it and get a nice smooth consistency. So now I'm going to mix my peach color. I take a little bit of the permanent rose and put that in with the Floetrol and then just a little touch of cadmium yellow deep hue and mix that together and you should have a nice peach color. You might have to experiment a little bit to get the exact color you're looking for. Um, if it turns out to be too dark, you can always add a little bit of white to make a lighter color if you like. Now you want to take your bottle of Floetrol and fill these cups pretty much to the top and then mix it really well. I add just a drop or two of silicone to the cups. What that does is it makes the little bubbles that create the cells in your painting. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want that effect, but I really like that effect. It just adds a lot of character and makes the painting look really fun. So I added it to the white and the peach. I did not add it to the black because I wanted the black to be a very solid layer. I didn't want other colors to be popping through it a lot. Um, I didn't want the white canvas to show behind it at all. So in order to not risk having that happen, I decided to skip the silicone on the black and just add it to the other colors. This is the part where it really starts to get fun. Take your separate mixing cup and start pouring a little bit of each color into your cup and just keep layering it until your cup is pretty close to full. So I kind of wanted a border around this piece, so in order to achieve that effect, I just poured some, uh, some of the black around the edge and then the peach and then the white, and that gave a nice layered border around the outside of the piece. I've never done a painting quite like this before. Um, usually I'll do like a flip cup or a swipe, something like that. But I notice when I fin have a finished painting that the paint that drips off the edges onto my paper below looks really cool. So I thought it would be fun to try pouring from up high above my canvas and see if I could get that same drippy effect. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm just adding a little bit of extra white paint to fill in some of the gaps. Now what you want to do is just gently tilt your canvas 
Um, you can start whichever direction you like. It depends what you want, how you want your painting to turn out. Just um, play with it until you get the look that you want. Another thing you can do is you can take your finger or your popsicle stick and just kind of push the paint around a little if you're not quite satisfied with it. Um, really, it's up to you how you want it. This is a blowtorch. I use this to bring that silicone that I mixed in the paint to kind of bring it to the surface and that's what creates those little bubbles that pop up and make the little circular cells. So you just very quickly run that across the surface a couple inches away. You don't want to burn your paint. And then you can tilt it again if you want. Just play with it a little bit until you're happy with it. Don't play with it too much because your paints might get all kind of mixed and muddy looking, but just play with it until you're happy with it. Um, do know that it may shift some from when you stop to when it's dried because it's very fluid, so don't get too attached to how it looks right now, but be aware that it may change a bit. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're an artist and you're looking for new ideas on how to paint or if you just love watching other people create art or if you enjoy music, photography, basically anything artistic then this channel is for you and feel free to subscribe and watch more of my videos.